Hi, yeah, welcome again uh, to uh, I Help Us. We've got HP ProBook 4515S uh, to remove or change the hard drive. First thing we're going to do here is take out the battery. So we'll flip the HP Pro over, slide the battery out. Make sure you've got a crosshead screwdriver with you. Uh, there you will find seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You must unscrew all of these screws. Firstly, they're holding up the power panel on the HP Pro Book, uh, which we'll need to slide out. So first things first is uh, getting rid of these screws. Okay. Fix. And the last one, number seven. As you can see, they're all unscrewed. Turn your laptop back around. You'll see screws here and the screw here. You'll lift the plastic away and um, there's a screw underneath that. Let me just uh, unscrew those. It's a bit difficult to get to, so I'll just unscrew them off camera. And um, <clears throat> put your laptop back down. Now you're going to get your front panel or your, your power button panel, this one here, and you're going to slide it forwards like so. Okay, then you're going to lift up, and there you go. That's off. Next thing is you're going to be removing this keyboard attached by two screws, one and two. So uh, what we're going to do here first is unscrew these. There you go, it's number one. And number two. Okay, same thing with this keyboard. You're going to slide it forwards that way. There we go. A little bit tricky, so you might need to jiggle it a little bit. Here you are until it comes apart. But bear in mind that it is attached by a ribbon cable, so don't just yank it up. Um, okay, so when that comes apart, you'll see the ribbon cable will be attached. Um, I had this one moved earlier on, but just be careful um, not to yank it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take this. Uh, Move that out of the way, and then you've got to move this touchpad panel also. Um, in the middle there, you can see that these uh, there's a the memory module um, just there. But we're going to get rid of this screw and this screw. Okay, so that's um, number one there, and number. Two. Okay, and once again, we're going to slide that forwards, and then it should come up. This will also be attached by that little ribbon cable right here. Um, that's attaching it to the uh, motherboard, so be careful. And there you can see the hard drive right there in the hard drive caddy. That will be where you were uh, unscrewed by that one screw there. And there's also that screw and that screw, another two screws there attached. Unscrew that, pull this to take your hard drive caddy out, and then you can uh, replace or remove your hard drive. Be careful of that ribbon cable. And um, there you go. To put things back, you'll just do things in reverse, sliding it downwards. 
until it clips into place. It is a bit tricky, so uh, just make sure that you you make sure that it's uh, fully straightened up, and then clip it back into place. And then to put everything back by screwing that screw back. Number one, and number two. Remember to clip this keyboard connector ribbon cable back into the connector. You slide that little connector upwards. The ribbon cable should slide down into the slot. It's a bit tricky here. Just make sure that it's uh, it lines up properly. There we go. and then you push the clip down and it's in. Then you put the keyboard back down and then you slide it downwards towards you. Make sure it's in place. Then you've got to put the two screws back into place. First one on the left. And then the second one here on the right. There we go. Get your panel or power button panel. Uh, obviously, you've got to put it the right way. it down and slide it towards you. Then you turn the laptop back around again. Face down, and you put back all the seven screws just under the battery compartment you found at the beginning. So when you go through all of them, you'll know that there's seven screws that you need to put back. And then you put the battery, slide it back, and it's all done. Thank you. Hope this helps.